Ever wondered how a network of powerful men operates behind the scenes, promising personal growth while allegedly grooming women into sex work? In a shocking expose, leaked internal chat logs have unveiled disturbing conversations from the so-called war room, revealing that the group's teachings go far beyond self-discipline and confidence building. The logs indicate that members of this exclusive $8,000-a-year network, led by former kickboxer Andrew Tate, were allegedly trained to manipulate and exploit women. How many potential victims were identified in the leaked chat logs? And why might the actual number be even higher? Between March 2019 and April 2020, the internal chat logs identified 45 potential victims. However, given the limited access to only 13 months of chat logs, the actual number of women targeted and exploited by the group since its formation in 2019 could be much higher. How does Andrew Tate defend himself against these allegations? And who does he claim the war room is for? Andrew Tate vehemently denies any wrongdoing and claims that the War Room is a platform for self-discipline, motivation, and personal growth. He portrays it as a network for powerful men and those who aspire to learn from them, connecting with thousands of professionals worldwide. Tate's perspective emphasizes personal responsibility and accountability. What stark contrast do the leaked chats present about the War Room's real teachings? Contrary to Tate's claims, leaked online chats reveal that the War Room offers a Ph.D. course, instructing members on how to groom women into sex work. This chilling course allegedly includes lessons on romantically seducing, emotionally manipulating, and socially isolating women. The goal? To lure them into performing on webcams while taking most, if not all, of their earnings. Who appears to be the true leader behind the War Room, according to the investigation? While Andrew Tate takes the spotlight, a self-proclaimed wizard named Iggy Semmelweis emerges as the War Room's true leader and intellectual driving force, as revealed by the leaked messages. How far did some members go in terms of violence and manipulation? The leaked messages indicate that some members encouraged violence against women. Shockingly, photographs of an injured woman were shared with the tagline, Who me? Furthermore, a member detailed hitting a woman in the head with her own keyboard and then forcing her to work for hours without a break. Who are some of the victims and what tactics were used on them? The BBC spoke to two women who were allegedly exploited by war room members, revealing that they were subjected to emotional manipulation, violence, and forced into performing sex work. One victim from Buenos Aires, Argentina, recounted how she was manipulated using sex, while another victim from the U.S. gave away a significant portion of her earnings to the group. What role did Iggy Semmelweis play within the war room? Iggy Semmelweis, whose real name is Miles Sonken, is described as the driving force behind the war room. He is a former member of alleged cults and has an interest in far-right ideologies— Sonkin's role in the group's establishment and teachings appears significant. How does Andrew Tate's fame tie into the allegations? Despite facing charges and allegations, Andrew Tate's fame, with millions of followers on Twitter, continues to attract men who aspire to emulate his lifestyle. The investigation suggests that his reputation is being used to sell abusive methods to individuals around the world. Watch another video. Which Daily Blade video do you want to watch next?